going to take a look at the Portable Zero uh, safety rails or protection rails for the uh, Yaesu FT891 and it's uh, Portable Zero is the manufacturer of these rails and they call it the 891 Escort and it's a model number 891-Echo Bravo and I got the black textured color. They also have a, a military green, olive green color. Um, if that's your thing, if you want to look like you're uh, doing the uh, military thing. Anyway, they do a great job of packaging this up. Take a look inside here. You see they give you a little package of hardware. You got it taped to the box so it doesn't disappear. It's got some little safety or cushions that you put on the side so that the uh, rails don't scratch up your radio. Got some bubble wrap there to protect. And each of the rails are in a uh, plastic bag. And we got some instructions here. It includes two side frames, four mounting screws, which are M4 by 12 millimeter. And we got eight self-adhesive rubber pads and the instructions. So, we're going to take a look at these. Take them out of the bags here. Like I said, they do a really good job of packaging these, keeping them safe and protected. And these are uh, aluminum. They're CNC machined. Really, they look really nice. Feel really nice. They, uh, after the machine, they're powder coated. And look really cool. All right, so that's what you get in the box from Portable Zero, and this is uh, the 891 Escort. It also fits the 857. They've got uh, different models that uh, fit uh, ICOM 7300, uh, other Yezu models. Uh, I'll leave a link to the website in the description so you can check it out. But let's uh, let's put these on the radio and see what they look like. All right, we've got everything laid out here, and I've taken the rails and put the uh, rubber bumpers on there, over the, on the top and bottom of where the uh, screw mounts are. And you just take and peel the backing off and press those on. No biggie. And then you want, in my case, I've got the uh, flared fronts. You can get the straight ones, and uh, I guess the difference is these give you a little bit of room to uh, access your knobs, your dials. The straight ones would be better if you were sticking it in a backpack and it would uh, give you a little more uh, compact installation where the flares uh, take a little bit wider uh, space in your backpack. The only thing we need to install these is a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna take and set my radio on the side. And I bought this Yezu uh, 891 to use for POTA activations. Uh, and I knew I was gonna be out in the field portable all the time and I wanted to protect mainly the dials in the front although the heat sink and the antenna connection and power the Molex connection I want to protect that as well but I was mainly concerned about the dials up front and I was hesitant to buy these because guys they're not cheap uh, I think these were 74 bucks plus shipping uh, so I was like, man, that's a lot of money, but I know from uh, being a knife maker and doing some manufacturing, I know the cost of this kind of stuff. These rails were CNC machined out of aluminum. There's a lot of waste there. And then you have to go through the process of powder coating, which is not cheap. So I understand the reason for them being expensive. Don't like it, but it is what it is. And then these, this model has these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, turnouts where you can uh, hook straps to it if you want to uh, carry the radio around with a strap over your shoulder doing pedestrian mobile. You got that option. Or just put a strap on it to uh, help carry it. They have uh, 
a strap that they sell on their website. I'm gonna I'm a leather worker, so I'll probably make a leather strap of some kind. Might make a pouch on both sides for uh, the microphone and the power cord. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll uh, come back in a video and show you. All right, well that's installation. As you can see, that's about easy as falling off a log there. And these things look really good, really good. And you got plenty of room. You get your finger in there, turn the dials. Use these rails as a support as you're turning them. I like it. And I think it'll do a good job of protecting the dials and the heat sink antenna connection and the Molex connection for power. So, And that's the safety rails for the Yaesu FT891. I hope you enjoyed the video. it give you an idea of what you get when you order these from Portable Zero. And if you like this content, how about hit the, the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see uh, the content that I come out with in the future and send you notifications. So I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day.